Hi, and thanks for joining. It's Patty from BS Paper Crafts, and I wanted to show you another fun fold card. I've been getting into these fun fold cards, and if you look on Pinterest and just look up fun fold, there's all kinds of stuff out there. So I don't even know who to give credit to this because there is a ton of them out there. And I actually figured out the measurements myself because I wanted it to look like this. And then I have a belly band. So you open it up. So cute, right? So this is the paper. It's all black and white, all different patterns. And um, I use both sides of this one for this one. And this card that we're gonna make today, I'm gonna use the small daisies because a lot of the other patterns were too big to put here in this little narrow strip. But I decided I would use this instead of the diagonal stripe. So I think they're both nice. Um, but let's get started. I will have all the measurements on my uh, blog, PSPaperCrafts.com, so you don't have to worry about, you know, how big they are and where to score, but um, I'm going to get my scoring tool. So this is five and a half by 11, so I just took off, you know, a little bit from the top, and we want to score, so I'm going to put my cutting blade up top, and we're going to score at one and a quarter, so one and a quarter, And we'll just score that and then three and three eighths so one two three eighths and we'll score it there and then i'm just going to flip it around so i get the same measurements for scoring on the other side so this was one and one quarter I don't know why that cutting blade keeps coming down. <laughs> Two, three eighths. Okay, so it's all scored. We'll put this away. There's no more cutting or scoring. I have everything all together. So when you fold it up and you fold these back, you have your normal A2 size card. So I'm just going to burnish this with my um, bone folder just to make sure it's nice and flat. I did put a belly band. I saw some people just put something on this side, but I wanted to kind of keep it closed a little bit. So I did do a belly band. I'm hoping it's not too busy with the polka dots. I almost did embossing and then I was like, oh, I'll just do the polka dots. Keep in the paper. Okay, so now we want to adhere everything. So we have um, the narrow white and the designer series paper two of each and then the wider white and designer series paper so i will tell you the um this is five and three eighths all the pieces all the white pieces are five and three eighths and this is one and seven eighths and then this is five and a quarter and one and three quarters okay so i am using liquid glue on this just because i want to get them all lined up so i'll just put some liquid glue on this See, I was going to use this, but I thought it might be too big of a pattern for the skinny strips. You kind of have to play with it. And I did a lot of playing with just copy paper to cut and score and get my sizes down. So let's put all this together. So yesterday I got my second COVID shot and my arm is very sore. <laughs> um, but I'm not sick. I know that people were getting um, reactions. I feel a little bit tired and drained but it's not bad so I know people have different feelings on it but I wanted to get it I live next to my mom who's um, 89 and I just want to make sure she's protected she got her shot and everything um, so it wasn't bad it didn't hurt getting the shot <laughs> it's the after effect right so we're gonna do these these the white is also five and three eighths and then um, it's one and one eighth. And then the D DSP is five and one quarter by one. So the DSP for both are the same height and the white for both are the same height, if that makes sense. So let's get this out. There's that diagonal. I mean, black and white is so classy. 
You could use this on making a birthday card. You could make a wedding card, an anniversary card, whatever you want. So now we'll put this in um, on the inside sleeve of this. So right in here. And I just want to have a little bit of the black around it. Kind of center it, but I want to make sure this folds nicely. And then let's do this one. I do want to have them kind of even as best I can. So we'll put this down. I hope you could see me. Let me move down here. I don't think I was in the camera. I apologize for that. So that's why I'm using the liquid glue. I want to be able to really get it lined up just where I want it. I'm trying to see the bottom. Black on black is hard. Okay. So that looks pretty good. And now we'll do these pieces. So let's just get some glue on here. I had my daughter here for a few days with the baby. She's nine months old and she was just the sweetest thing. She's very, she's a very good baby. Very happy, easy to uh, cheer up and distract. So that was good. Bailey, my dog, has been looking at her face like crazy. He just loves somebody, I guess his height. He's a Boston Terrier, so she's right there. She's not walking yet, but she's standing and holding on. So there we go. And I have this butterfly. This was left over from another card that I made from the Butterfly Brilliance. So this, again, is one stamp. And I just figured I had, I thought these were too big, but I had these left over as well. So I just keep them for other projects. So it's one stamp, but then when you cut it out, you cut out the entire thing. So I stamped the entire thing. I used some of the butterflies, but not all of them. And then for the inside, I used um, some Highland Heather, which is one of the colors I colored here, and just cut out the detailed. So there's Lots of detailed ones as well. So you have all different sizes. It's a great set. I really love it. And then the sentiment is from the Peaceful Moments. This is a great set to have. I'm glad it's carrying over. I use it all the time for sympathy and birthday. So that's pretty cool. Um, let me get this together. This is the belly band. And the black strip is one inch. And the DSP is um, seven eighths of an inch so just a tiny bit smaller and then it's all the way out to 11 inches so let's get this i know you probably can't see it the black on black i'll pick it up so it just has this little rim around it so we've got that done um let me get my inside piece I always have a stack of these. And let's do our stamping. So I'll stamp with black memento ink. Um, the happy birthday. So we'll just stamp this on a piece of scrap. And I do want it, how do I want it? I want it like over to the side. Oh, that didn't stamp very well. Let's try that again. I think I moved it while I was talking. We'll see how it goes. So I want it to the side so the butterfly sits on it. And then I'll use this um, postage stamp punch. So this is the top. And I'll just, so I want it like this. So that I can put the butterfly here. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't want the butterfly to be stuck to the card. I want it to be only stuck here. And then let's do the inside. So on the inside, I put um, the, what is it? Um, wishing you happiness on this, this special day will bring. So let's get this on the inside. I feel like I'm getting a little cough. I apologize, I'm stopping the camera <laughs> while I cough here and there, but I'm okay. All right, and then let's put a little bit of glue. I'll just put it in the body. 
oops, there's a little, little piece there. So I'm not going to put it on the whole thing. I'm just going to put it on the body. I wanted to show you that I was kind of playing around with the, um, the paper and this, this die. And I ended up doing a diagonal, which is okay if you want to keep black and white, which would be pretty right there. And then I did one of the floral papers and I wasn't really crazy about them, but it's always fun to try. This is that daisy paper that we used. And if the daisy didn't show, I think I would like this one, but there's too much of it showing. So just play around and see what, what you like. Um, so we want to color. Let's do our coloring. I'm using just the light um, colors of my stamping blend. So I used Highland Heather, the light one, and I'm just going to stamp and I'm not really sure what should be what colors. I just kind of went with it and I'm using the blunt end because I didn't want to spill over into the, uh, the rest of it. And then I'm using this part. I kind of used the parts that had the black dot. I tried to stick with them. I'm sure somebody knows this would be a nice uh, monarch in the right colors, I guess. Although I don't think it's the right shape. I think this is more of a monarch. But I thought it was too big. I guess it would be okay. It's not that much bigger. So, let's see. I did some of this here. I just wanted to get a little bit of two different colors on it. But very soft, as I said. All right. I think that looks pretty good. And then I used um, soft smoky slate for the body. I didn't want it to be black, but I also didn't want it to just be kind of naked there. I wanted to just add some color to it. Get that other eye. And then I used light pool party. And you can use whatever colors you want and you can color it however you want. Oh, and I put some uh, purple on the end the tips. So let me go back and do that right out here. These are really pretty butterflies to color and um, cut out all at once and then save them for different projects. Okay, I got carried away right here. Let me get my um, color lifter. So this is a great tool to have and it's really for lifting colors like if you're blending or something you can take away color if you wanted to get something even lighter than what it is but <laughs> it's good if you make mistakes okay you never know <clears throat> so i'm going to add just a little of the highland heather just at the tips i don't even know if you guys can see it just at the end here. Okay, so let's put our card together. Uh, I'm going to put this inside. Where's my liquid glue? Here it is. And I'll just put some liquid glue back here. And place it in here. So this is the normal four by five and a quarter that you put, well, what I put in all my inside cards. So I think that works out good. And then we want the belly band. And I'm just, there's no measurement. I'm just going to put it here and fold it. And fold it. Okay, and I will put, I'm going to put glue on both sides. I don't want to go out too far here, and I don't want to go in too far there. So I'm going to kind of do it here and here. And this is a nice, strong glue. So once it's set, it will stay in place. So I'm just going to hold it for a minute. <laughs> While I'm holding it, let's put a little glue here. 
I don't want to go too high. I don't want to put it on the butterfly because I don't want the butterfly to sit on the card. I only want it to be on the, um, the sentiment label. Okay. And you can put this on with dimensionals. I did not. I did put it over to the side because I want this to fit in an envelope. And if you put it in the center, which would be nice to do, you're hanging over there. But I think this is okay. And I'll just put this right in the middle. I don't want to go top or bottom and get it caught on the card again. So there you have it. And then one last little thing was I put one of these pastel pearls and there's the dark or the light so since we're very light here i wanted to put one right here with the light colors these are really pretty so this is the card it was very easy to make once i figured out the dimensions um this one's kind of flying more this way let's see if we can do that okay and then it just opens up whoops opens up <laughs> and like this so cool it might be you know take a little bit to get it open and closed but it'll work let's see i say that there we go i think this is a little tighter than the other one huh. oh boy i think i should have made it a little looser but i'll work on it let's see There we go. If I bend it a little bit, whew, there we go. I like it because it's more flat than this one. So it's your decision whether you make it tight or loose. But anyway, thanks for joining. Um, I appreciate it. And give me a thumbs up if you liked it. And I'll see you soon. Bye.